Well, good morning. First bass of the day. And, uh, and I'm on a different lake today. So uh, the weather was pretty crappy this weekend. And yesterday, I, yesterday was Saturday, I didn't go fishing because, you know, it just looked like really crappy weather. And even if I would have went fishing, I probably wouldn't have been able to get anything on film that great. But um, okay, so I just decided to go today. And at the last minute, I decided to switch lakes because I got off to a late start. So I'm on Lake Talquin today. And uh, that was my first bass. Time is... Uh, Time is 10.30, 10.33, and I've been here probably, I've, I've probably been casting around for about 20 minutes now, so. There we go, another one on the Senko.
All right, there we go. Skinny bass. Definitely post spawn. Um, shoot, it, it, it's looking like it might be a Senko kind of day. There we go, there's a solid one right there. I don't know how much you guys can see this thing because it's freaking raining. Clear it up a little bit. But uh, I just tried it. I just uh, decided to check some ledges close to a spawning area and uh, it paid off. I found a little spool of bass on there and uh, that's a solid little, probably three pounder right there. I knew it. Uh, well, it's a bass. <laughs> Wrong kind of bass, but. I was stroking that chatterbait down there and. Something kept hitting it on the fall, and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't getting it. I thought maybe it was just a big crappie or something, but now I know why.
Look at that bass right there. That sucker is just a little football. And it's really, really white. I'll tell you what, this one right here might even be a, a pre-spawn bass. Jeez. That, but, that bass is like a very light green. Interesting. Sucker is a chunk. Okay, folks we're gonna go ahead and get a weight on this bass and let her go but there she is right there just just a really long post spawn bass right there with um, got a huge head on it and you know that's probably like a 21 inch bass right there if I had to guess <laughs> just shy of four pounds golly I, I bet this bass will be a, another pound and a half at least another pound if it if it didn't look like it just came off of a bed but as you know you can look at this bass it's all beat up um, just as a reference on my cooler you can see right there my cooler is 23 and a half inches anyway let's go ahead and Get her back in the water. That one, you know, a little probably like two pounder or something like that. I forgot how white these bass are. Yeah, when they get out here, they get pretty pale looking. Yeah. And there were several ones I caught that have, you know, sore bottom fins where they had already spawned. Yeah. But I'm not, I haven't come across a lot of the big ones yet. Most are just. I haven't either. The ones I've, the ones I've come across, I think, are just out here feeding on shad, trying to feed up off that spawn. I'm probably going to check some of these ledges down here and probably call it after the, I check those. Yeah. All right, Brian. So, folks, that's uh, Daylight to Dark Fishing. I'll leave a link down in the description below um, if you want to check him out. He's, he's really good with his electronics, and he knows these lakes really well. Um, he does a lot with live scope if you want to check him out.
There we go. Decent one. Nice healthy pass. We'll get a weight on this one real quick. There we go. Solid little three and a half. All right, let's get her back in the water. That bass had uh, definitely been to a weigh-in before. It had a little, already had a little hole in its lip from a, uh, a coal tag or whatever. Okay, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up right there. Honestly, this was a last minute move for me. I had every intentions of going to uh, Lake Seminole today but when I woke up this morning and I looked at the weather it was it was already raining pretty hard and I wasn't sure when it was gonna let up and I I really just didn't feel like making the hour drive it takes me a little over an hour to get to Lake Seminole and I really just didn't feel like making that um, hour plus drive to go out there just to get rained on and, and possibly not even get to film any because you know, you, you never know with these cameras. That, um, I have them hooked up to external power so that they last all day so, and I'm not changing batteries all day. And, you know, when the weather is decent, I also have them hooked up to external microphones um, so that uh, you get a better sound quality. But anyway, um, you know, got on the lake and I went basically to the back of a major creek right away. And I, I kind of just wanted to start back there and slowly work my way forward and kind of figure out where they were because it, it is it's been you know almost five months since i've been on this lake so i'm not in tune with where the bass are and what stages they are but i can see right now that uh, there's definitely a lot of post spawn bass a lot of skinny post spawn bass and you know it seems like this lake is pretty much on the same cycle as lake seminole you guys saw there, um, you saw me talking to my friend Brian. Uh, in case you didn't catch it before, Brian also has a YouTube channel. And I, I want to say it's called Daylight to Dusk Fishing or Daylight to Dark Fishing. I'm going to put the link um, down in my description if you want to go check him out. Brian's a real good guy and he knows this lake and Lake Seminole way better than I do. And, uh, you know, he's, he's also really big into electronics. He knows a lot about electronics. He's got just about everything you can think of on his boat to help you find fish offshore. Um, and uh, he's got, you know, some of his videos cover some of those things and how he has it set up and everything. So I, I definitely recommend that you go check him out if you want to learn about that stuff. Or if you just want to learn more about these lakes that are in the area. Anyway, hey, listen. If you enjoyed today's video, go down and hit that like button. But that's it for this time, guys. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Take care.